to another beautiful day that lay that the Lord has made. Our eternal rock of ages, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for this morning. We thank you for the grace to be able to gather together at your feet. So, Father Lord, we do pray, Lord, that this morning, whatever it is, so Lord, that will not allow us to experience open heaven, we are asking in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to depart from our environment, from our life, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, will there be anything that the enemy has programmed against us, against our prayer this morning, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, let it be wiped off by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful privilege, O oh Lord. Let us begin to thank the Lord for his grace upon us, for allowing us to see this day again. It is marvelous. Lord, we thank you. Our God and our Lord, we thank you, Lord. Because you are ever-present help and you silence the enemy and the avenger. You are our hiding place, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you. Immortal God, invisible God. Yes, Lord, we cannot see you, but you see the work of your hand. And Lord, we thank you. Great and merciful God, we praise you because you alone, O oh Lord, you are the fountain head of life and light. You have your way, Lord, in us this morning, in our life, O oh Lord. Have your way, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Great and faithful Father, we praise you, Lord, for you are the faithful one who give us all things to enjoy. Lord, be exalted, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, our Father, be exalted. Our Father in heaven, we praise you, for you alone are holy. You alone, O oh Lord, are just. And you alone are the only wise God, the immortal God, the invisible God. Hallelujah to your name, O Lord, our God, this morning. Thank you, mighty Father. Great Jehovah Sabbath, we thank you for striking all the enemies upon this cheekbone. You are undefeatable. Lord, we thank you. Because who can fight with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? There is none. Father, we thank you. Lord Jesus, 
we are exceedingly thankful for you are the true vine that nourishes your own. You are our everlasting portion. We declare, Lord Jesus, that you are our everlasting portion. Blessed be to your name in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. As we approach the throne of grace this morning, let us ask the Lord that Father God, have mercy. You are the God of mercy. And your mercy endures forever. Lord, have mercy upon me. Will there be anything in my life? Father, Lord, the blood of Jesus Christ assures that I will be cleansed if I confess my sin. The word of God says so. So, Lord, this morning, have mercy upon me. According to your loving kindness, Father, Lord, according to the multitude of that tender mercy, blot out my transgression, O Lord. Father, Lord, because I acknowledge them, my fault and my failure, before you, Lord, I acknowledge before you, Father Lord, will that be any way? I've been a stumbling block to someone else, Lord. I'm asking for forgiveness, whether I know it, I'm conscious about it, or I'm not conscious about it. Father, I ask, forgive me, Lord, for being a stumbling block to someone else. Forgive me, Lord, for my losing important opportunity. Oh, gracious Father, have mercy this morning. Have mercy. You know, sometimes it's not that you just commit sin. You know, do it may just be an opportunity for you to be a witness of to you to give words of encouragement, and you lose that opportunity. And to him that know how to do good and did not do it, then it is sin. See, so it's not when you start tell lies. You may not tell lies. You may not steal. But there's something that the Holy Spirit prompts you to do, and you, you know, for some reason you ignore the accuser of the brethren. We accuse us about that before our Father. So let us lay it before God. Then agree with the accuser. Yes, I've done it, but I'm asking for forgiveness. The blood of Jesus Christ will cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Lord, I'm for allowing my mind to wander to dirty ways, I ask you to forgive me. In there for also concealing my real motives in what I do, Father Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord, this morning. In the name of Jesus, cleanse me, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, will there be anyone that I need to forgive this morning? I'm asking you the grace to forgive them. I forgive them, Lord. Anyone who has hurt, hurt me, anyone who has disappointed me, anyone, oh Lord God Almighty, that I'm having anything that, you know, when I remember them, my heart doesn't go at peace. Father, Lord, this morning, I'm asking you that, Lord, I have forgiven them. Let your peace rule in my heart, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. And let us pray that, Lord, purify my lips with your holy fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord, my Father. Purify my lips with your holy fire this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord. Purify my lips with your holy fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. Purify my lips with your holy fire, in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray that Lord reveal to me those things that give my enemies advantage over me, in the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. Reveal to me, Lord, those things that give my enemies advantage over me in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God say in Deuteronomy 29, 29 that the secret things belong to the Lord. And those things that are revealed to us belong to us and to our children so that we may know how to do the works of this law. So Father according to your word, reveal to me those things that give my enemies advantage over me in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord reveal to me. Let me know in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to to be in the knowing, Lord. Let me know those things, O oh Lord, that give the enemies upper hand in my life. Reveal it to me in the name of Jesus Christ. And let us pray that, Lord, let my fellowship with you become greater. Lord, this is my desire. For this new year, O oh Lord, for this beginning, I want my fellowship 
with you to become greater. Lord God Almighty, let my fellowship, let my children fellowship with you become greater. Lord, draw us closer as a family. My husband, my wife, my children, my grandchildren, oh Lord, my father, that me and my household will we serve the Lord. Oh Lord, my father, I'm asking you, Lord, this year, Father God, let our fellowship with you become greater. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, let my fellowship with you become greater. In Jesus' name, amen. I draw upon heavenly resources today in the name of Jesus Christ. I draw upon heavenly resources today. For where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. And I draw upon heavenly resources today in the name of Jesus Christ because the Lord will supply everything that I need today in the name of Jesus Christ. I draw upon heavenly resources today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that my Father, my Lord, enable me to become the person you created me to be. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, when you form me in my mother's womb, when I was put together delicately, wonderfully, in my mother's womb, you have a program, you have a purpose, oh Lord, for me to be here or not, oh Lord. And I'm asking you, Father Lord, help me, Lord, to become the person that you created me to be. Help my children, my grandchildren, Lord, to become the person that you created them to be. In the name of Jesus Christ, not the way that the society want them to be, not the way that any institution want them to be, but Father Lord, the way that you want us to be. Help us, oh Lord, to become that person. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, this day, Lord, we are committing our teenage girls and boys, oh Lord, into your hand, that, Lord, you will help them to become the person that you created them to be. Oh, Lord, not the way that the, the celebrities want them to be or the society want them to be, but, Father, Lord, the way that you have created these, our children, Lord, help them, oh, Lord, to become that person that you have created them to be. And, oh, Lord, we too, oh, Lord God Almighty, you can still make us, oh, Lord, to become the person that you created us to be. It's never too late for you. So, Father, this morning, we're asking you, Lord, help us, oh Lord, to become the person that you created us to be in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want us to turn your Bible to Psalm 23. Remember, we said that is going to be our anchor for this year. We're going to be declaring it to ourselves. The confidence, the assurance, the hope that we have in the word of God. It's just like what the psalmist said, because our God is dependable. He's the one that will guide us in this year as we journey. Oh Lord, let us declare that the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. As we declare, so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Therefore, now. We're going to go into the spiritual warfare. We're going to pray that every spirit of destruction and desolation visit every spirit lying against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father. Because we remember I said 
if the enemy is out there to wage war against us and we must fight we must not string back we must fight with the word of god therefore this morning because the lord say thou shalt destroy thy, them that speak listen the lord will about the bloody and deceitful man that is from psalm 5 verse 6 is therefore in the name of jesus christ every spirit of destruction and desolation visit every spirit lying against me visit every spirit lying against my children against my household in the name of jesus christ for the word of god say that the lord will destroy them that speak listen the lord will abhor the bloody man and deceitful man therefore in the name of jesus christ spirit of destruction and desolation visit every spirit lying against me lying against my household in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen every demonic force seeking after my blood be disgraced in the name of jesus christ by the power in the blood of jesus christ by the authority in the word of god this is the same that psalm 5 verse 6 that says thou shalt destroy them that speak listening the lord will have the bloody and deceitful man therefore for every demonic force seeking after my blood be disgraced be disgraced in the name of jesus christ every demonic force seeking after my children's blood be disgraced be disgraced in the name of jesus christ every demonic force seeking after any member of my household blood in the name of the lord jesus christ be disgraced be disgraced in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen my heavenly father Lead me in thy righteousness and make thy way straight before my face. Oh, Lord, my Father, as I begin this journey, Lord God divine, lead me in the righteousness and make thy way straight before my face in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my God, lead me, Lord, in the righteousness and make thy way straight before my face. Oh, Lord, lead my children. Lord, I commit them into your hand and my family. Lord, lead us, oh, Lord, in the righteousness and make your way straight before our face in the name of Jesus Christ. Every man member of my household lord this morning i commit them into your hand that you will lead them oh lord you will guide them oh lord in the right path oh lord in the name of jesus christ lead us oh lord in the righteousness in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen every wicked mouth open against me and every flattering tongue waging against me receive the fire of god in the name of jesus christ every wicked mouth opened against me and every flattery tongue waging against me and my family receive the fire of god receive the fire of god in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father this morning let every wicked mouth opened against us every flattery tongue waging against us and our household receive the fire of god because there is no faithfulness in their mouth their inward part is very wickedness their throat is an open separate they flatter with their tongue oh father in the name of jesus christ we pray every wicked mouth open against me and my household and every flattery tongue waging against me and my household let them receive the fire of god in the name of jesus christ let them receive the fire of god in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen lord let every cancer and not evil cancel us gathered against me fall after the order of Aitofel in the name of Jesus Christ oh Lord my father let every cancer every every evil counselor gather against me fall after the order of Aitofel in the name of Jesus Christ mighty father God this day I pray oh Lord God almighty because your word say destroy thou them oh God let them fall by their own counsel cast them out in the multitude of their transgression for they have rebelled against thee oh Lord my father this morning we pray let every counsel or non evil counselor gather against us against our family let them fall after the order of Aitofel in the name of Jesus Christ they must fall Lord God divine let them fall after the order of Aitofel let their counsel come to nothing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen the word of God say it's a but 
Let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou art the first dead. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. Pray this morning, Lord, make me a mighty defender city, filled with joy and rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ, because I put my trust in thee, O Lord, mighty Father God, I put my trust in thee, make me a mighty defender city, filled with joy and rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord, my God, make me a mighty defender city, filled with joy and rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. I decree that the blessing and favor of the Lord will forever surround my life in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the word of God. Because the word of God say, For thou, O Lord, we bless the righteous with favor, without compassion, as with a shade. Therefore, I decree that the blessing and favor of the Lord will forever surround my life, surround my children's life. The Lord has promised it will surround us with favor in the name of Jesus. And I decree, according to the word of the Lord, that the blessing of the Lord and the favor of the Lord will forever surround my life and my household in the name of Jesus Christ. The blessing of the Lord will surround us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. My Father, my Lord, this year I'm asking you, Lord, put an end to my groaning and my tears in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, everything that caused me tears in the last year, Lord, put an end to it in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, everything that make me to be grown. Oh, Father, Lord, Jehovah God, I'm asking you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, because I'm weary of my groaning. I would not make my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. Oh, no, Father, Lord, put an end to these tears in my life. Put an end to my groaning in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is, you can mention it to the Lord this morning, whatever it is in your life that is making you to groan or that is making you to, you know, to tears up every time. Oh, Pray this morning that, Lord, this particular thing, this is sickness, is it financial difficulty, is it about your children? Just pray this morning that, my Father, my Lord, I know you are the only one that can put an end, O oh Lord, to this, O oh Lord. So, Father, I'm asking you concerning my son, concerning my daughter, concerning my career, concerning my business, concerning my ministry, Father, Lord, I'm asking you put an end to my groaning and tears in the day. More Jesus Christ, oh Lord my God, put an end because I'm weary with my groaning. Oh Lord my Father, because all night I make my bed to swim in tears. Oh Lord, I wet my couch with tears. But my Father, I come to you. You are the dryer of tears, oh Lord. Dry the tears, oh Lord my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone, oh Lord, that will not be able to sleep all night, they will be crying. Oh Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, reach out your hand to them, O oh Lord, whether they are young or old, O oh Lord, my Father, whatever is making them to cry, Father, Lord, come to their rescue in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, this morning, we pray the Father, Lord, come to our rescue on this prayer platform. Anything, O oh Lord, that is making us to grow, that is making us to tear up, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we said we should ask you anything in his name and that you will do it. And Lord, this morning, we are asking you, Father, that that anything that is making any one of us to groan, anything that is making us to tear up, Father, Lord, put an end to it. By your name, Alpha, oh, no, Omega, oh, Lord, put an end to it in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us declare that depart from me, all you work of iniquity. For the Lord has heard my voice of weeping in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I decree, all workers of iniquity, congregated the against me, be dispersed. By the power of the Lord, be dispersed. In the name of Jesus Christ, declare, declare, according to Psalm 6, verse 8, it said, Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity, for the Lord had heard the voice of my weeping. Yes, the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. In the name of Jesus, therefore, I decree, 
all workers of iniquity congregated against me be dispersed. Be dispersed by the power of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Be dispersed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I decree that sudden shame and so vexation will be the portion of all that are arrayed against me in the name of jesus christ i decree according to the word of the lord the psalm 6 verse 7 10 says let all my enemies be ashamed and so vexed and let them return and be ashamed suddenly lord according to the word i decree that sudden shame and so vexation will be the portion of all that are arrayed against me and my family in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the word of the Lord, I decree that sudden shame and subversation will be the portion of all that are arrayed against me and my family in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree, according to the word of the Lord, so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, oh, let them be ashamed. Let them be in the name of Jesus Christ, all that are arrayed against me and my family in Jesus' name, Amen. In thee, O Lord, I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. In the name of Jesus Christ, our God is the deliverer. In the name of Jesus, save and deliver me, O Lord, from all my persecutors. In the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord, my Father. Even sometimes you have not done anything, but be, merely because you are a Christian, you are a child of God, they will persecute. Oh, Father, Lord, this morning, I'm asking you, deliver me, deliver me my children, from all our persecutors, Lord, deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, deliver me. Deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. You know why the psalmist, they cry to God to, to deliver him. He said, let they tear my soul like a lion, reading it in pieces, why there is none to deliver. That is why he's cry out to the Lord. Oh, Father, Lord, let this they tear my soul like a lion, they redden in pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray this morning. Lord, let the fire of God fall and roast every roaring lion. Determined to rend me to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. I have no power of my own, but with the power of the Lord this morning, let the fire of God fall and roast every roaring lion. Determined to rend me to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. We know who is going out like a roaring lion, seeking whom to devour. But this morning, let the fire of God fall and roast every roaring lion. Determined to rend me and my children to pieces in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the fire of God fall and roast every roaring lion determined to rend me and my children to pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the psalmist continued. He said, mighty God, you need to arise now. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemy. And awake for me to the judgment that I was commanded. O oh Lord, my Father, let the rage of my enemies be cancer by the rage of the Lord. And let all judgment pronounced against them be established in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let the rage of my enemies be countered by the rage of the Lord and let all judgment pronounced against them be established in the name of Jesus Christ. They rage against you. Remember Psalm 2? Say, why did they hate them rage? Why? So, Father Lord, let the rage of the enemies be countered by the rage of the Lord and let all judgment pronounced against them be established in the name of Jesus Christ. Let all judgment pronounced against them be established in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you have taken them to the court of the Lord and you have received that judgment, let all judgment pronounced against them be established in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. And he cried out again, say, Oh Lord, let the wickedness of the wicked come 
come to an end. Father, Lord, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end in my life, in my children's life, in my ministry, in my neighborhood, in my household. Pray this morning, blood mighty God, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Oh, Lord, my Father, establish the just for the righteous God. Try the heart of rain, Lord God Almighty, and let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that all operations of the wicked against me come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ, according to the word of God, I cry out like the, like the psalmist this morning, that, O oh Lord, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end in my life, in my children's life, in my ministry, in my career. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end in my marriage. O oh Lord, my Father, this morning, Lord God divine, in my business, I cry out to you. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ and let every hand of the wicked over the affairs of my life wither in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord my Father every hand of the wicked over my children's life let it wither in the name of Jesus Christ. In any area of my children's life Father Lord every hand of the wicked over the life of my children over their development over their progress over their career over their marriage let the hand of the wicked wither lord this morning by your power let every wickedness come to an end in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen and he declared he said my defense is of god we save the upright in hearts my defense is of god my defense is of god it's only god is my helper so cry out to the Lord this morning. My defense is of God. So Father Lord, defend and save me, O oh Lord. Defend and save my children. O oh Lord, defend and save my sister. Save my daughter. Lord God Almighty, defend and save us, O oh Lord, my God, my household. O oh Lord, my Father, you will look up to you. Our defense is of God. We save the upright in heart, Lord God Almighty, because of what Christ has done on the cross of Calvary. And because of our trust in him, we have been made righteous. Lord, this morning, defend and save us, O oh Lord, from the hand of the wicked. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, my Father, defend and save us. In Jesus' name, amen. And he continued to pray. He said, let your anger be directed daily towards those that are incensed against me. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, let your anger be directed daily towards those that are incensed against me. In the name of Jesus Christ, mighty Father God, let your anger be directed daily towards those that are incensed against me in jesus name amen amen hallelujah praise the lord we're going to continue our talking from the word of god since we started we're talking about the wonder of the word of god the wonder of god's word how we should deal with it so this morning we're looking at another psalm, um, psalm again no scripture towards that and i will read from psalm 24 quickly and to i will read from verse let me see i'm sorry i'm reading psalm 19 not 24 okay yeah i will read from verse 7 through 14 quickly it said the law of the lord is perfect refreshing the soul the status of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the earth. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them, the servant is one. In keeping them, there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden fault. 
Keep your servant also from willful sin. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. When we think of status, precept, command, we often think of rules that keep us from having fun. But here, from what we have read, we see that it is the opposite. It's the law that revives us. It's the law that makes us wise. It's the law that gives us joy to the earth. It gives life to the eyes. It, it is the word that enlightens us. It lights our path. Rather than chains our own, our hands and feet, the word points at a danger and warns us. And then it points at sources and guides us. That is the word of God. God's word is not just to inform you, but is to transform you. One of the goals you and I should have as a Christian is to become like Christ. The word of God is the best tool to achieve that goal. Putting God's word into practice is the best way to conform to the image of Jesus' son. What is the step we need to take to experience this life-transforming power of God's word? First of all, you must be born again. New birth will grant you access to the mystery of God's word. If you are not born again, you have not given your life to Christ, I advise you to do so. Because without being born again, you cannot access wonderful blessing the word of God offers. The promises are for the children. They are the children's bread. And the another thing is that the word of God must become habit in your life. Study it daily. Meditate on it daily. And preach it daily and live by it daily. God's word must guide your thoughts and decision, your speech and your action. And you must get rid of all distraction to being in God's word every day. It will require you to make some changes in your life to minimize or do away with those distractions. But as you grow in the word, you will also grow in God's power. That is the benefit. You will grow in grace and illumination. You will grow. You will be loaded with this word this year. So make sure you complete the one-year Bible study plan. Take your quiet time in the word and prayer to a higher level. And you will find that the working of God's Spirit will also move to a higher dimension in your life. And you will see the glory of God anew. The more word you are loaded it, the more you will exhibit the divine nature. Because as you study it, you can only partake in the divine nature through the word of God. It's only the word of God. See? Many books can inform you. Only the Bible can transform you. If you don't have the Bible study plan, go go it. The yearly 365 days Bible that you can do the chronological, you can do any one you have. Print it out. And you see, you daily dedicate, determine, begin with that. And as you pray, we'll be using the word of God to pray. And you will see, right? And the enemy will run away from you. They will try, but they, you will not be overcome. So I encourage us that we should take the word of God. Let the word of God fill our spirit, fill our soul, fill our body. And we become a mysterious wonder in this generation. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. For the many time we, we need to pray. That pray that word of God enter into my life, quicken my spirit, quicken my soul and my body in the name of Jesus Christ. Word of God enter into my life. Quicken my spirit, quicken my soul and my body in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, word of God, enter into my life. Quicken my body, quicken my soul and my spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Creative and life-transforming power in the word of God. Enter and bless my life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Creative and life-transforming power in the word of God. Enter and bless my life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Creative and life transforming power enter into my life and bless my life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My Father, help me to be word loaded and to partake of the divine nature in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, this year I pray, Lord, help me to be word loaded and to partake of the divine nature in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, help me, Lord, to partake of your divine nature, to be word loaded in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I read my life of all distraction to being in God's word every day in the name of Jesus Christ. I read my life of all distractions to being in God's word every day in the name of Jesus Christ because this is the weapon that we have to fight the enemy. That is what the Lord Jesus Christ used. Oh Lord, this morning, I read my life of all distractions to being in God's word every day in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I receive the grace to conform to the image of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I receive the grace to conform to the image of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Life-giving word of God, give life to my destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, give life to my career. Give life to my marriage. Give life to my ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, life-giving word of God. Give life to my destiny. Give life to my career. Give life to my marriage. Give life to my ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, life-giving word of God. Give life to my destiny. Give life to my career. Give life to my ministry, to my business, to my career to my marriage in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen I declare that the Bible is my standard for living and for my compass this year in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that the Bible is my standard for living and my compass this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare that the Bible is is my compass for living in the name of Jesus Christ. This year, I declare that the Bible is my standard for living and my compass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Before we go to our intercession, I want us to just listen to this song, Wonderful Words of Life. It's only for two minutes. <music> Sing them over again to me, wonderful words of life. Let me more of their beauty see, wonderful words of life. Words of life and beauty, teach me faith and duty. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Blessed one gives to all wonderful words of life. Sinner lives to the loving God, wonderful words of life. All so freely given, wooing us to heaven. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of life. Beautiful Wonderful words of life. 
Amen. We go to our intercession now. In Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, we'll be focusing on uh, prayer for our sick friend and family. Yes, the are so many things that we have considered this morning, but with the exchange of things, uh, we notice sickness is so much prevalent nowadays. And uh, we have some of these that we have been seeing in our ministry in our church and around with our friends. So we'll be focusing on praying for our sick friends, our sick families in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the word of the Lord in 1 Peter 2, 24 says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. By his wounds, you have been healed. The book of Matthew 4, 23 also says, Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in the synagogue, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness among the people. Our reliance is basically on the power that is in the blood of Jesus. And the same we are going to plead concerning our friends and family who are healing at this time. It is important because whatever touches our friend touches us. This also affects our happiness. Lord, we are going to come to you today. We are going to pray concerning our friends. We are coming together as a group. And God will pray that we answer our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. We start by saying, Heavenly Father, we intercede for our friend. You might want to put the name if you have a name of somebody in mind that you know is really hot at this time, this time around. Who is in need of healing? Please reach down to our brothers or sister who is in distress and set them at liberty from ill earth. In the name of your only son, Jesus Christ, we declare that this sickness is temporary and we focus our gaze on you, Lord, our unchanging God. The sickness is under the feet of Jesus. And we know it is leaving them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Please pray, pray, pray. Heavenly Father, we intercede for our friend. Name, if you have the, their name, it's very important you can mention their name. Who is in need of healing? Please reach down to our brothers and sister who is in this at this time and set them at liberty from here in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of the Holy Son, Jesus, we declare that the sickness is temporary and we focus our gaze on you. Our changing God, the sickness is under the feet of Jesus Christ. It is living them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, dear Lord God, come to the hand to the head of our, our, our sister, our brother. You can put that name as well. Who has been violently attacked by this evil disease? Surround him or her in your arms of protection in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, the healers is extinguishes and cut off from them, for cut this off from them, everlasting Father. Lord, we want to thank you, our healer, and deliver that we will soon be here. The sound of joy from this, our brother and sister, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, everlasting Father, that Lord, urgently, I family ask you in the name of Jesus to set our friend, our brothers and sisters from this disability. Lord, we pray to you today. Some of our brothers and sisters are having some disability, some pain in their body. Lord Almighty, we pray that send strength and full mobility and prosperous heal, healing to them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we give thanks to you because we know you are the only one that's able to do it. Father, we pray that you heal our brother. Don't forget to mention their name if you know their name, that you heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, our most gracious Savior, we are humbled and us struck that you took our sicknesses and calamities on your body and uh, you carries our pain and anguish and affliction what love and what compassion is this lord almighty now precious Ella, we ask that you touch our friend name again put their name cast out this sickness with your word and heal them right now in the mighty name of jesus heal them right now in the mighty name of jesus Everlasting Father, our heart made that Lord, we remember that you took the punishments that brought us uh, completeness, that you restored sadness to our souls and bodies. And that's what we read in the, in, in, in the book of First Peter, that on his body, that by his wound, we are being healed. So we are healed. We are cured of all disorders and diseases and disabilities. We claim this healing for our friend, for our brothers because you purchased at such awful price for a precious name, 
Lord Almighty, please heal our brothers and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are going to pray specifically because of recently we have been hearing so many kind of names, name of diseases that could be very scary. But we know God, nothing is beyond you. We say, Holy Father, thank you that we are an inheritors of Jesus Christ and the right to exercise spiritual authority in the mighty name of Jesus. That name under which everything in heaven and on earth below must bow. Lord, we exercise authority over cancer, yes. over blood pressure, over sugar, over whatever name those diseases are called, are called. Lord, command all that to leave our brothers and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, if you have the name in mind, mention anybody's name that you know in the mighty name of Jesus. All problems caused by cancer, by high blood pressure, by whatever name they are called, Lord Almighty, we pray that everlasting Father will take absolute control of it in the mighty name of Jesus. We are asking for total restoration, Lord, concerning our brothers and sisters, because whoever this thing touch affects us in whatever way, and it is in our body as well. Lord, we are pleading your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we say at the beginning, you keep on going around the synagogues to heal the people. It is by his right that we are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. And when we come together as a group and we are able to declare, whatever we declare, our head is established in heaven. Let us approach the throne of grace with our faith and pray with faith that almighty God today, we, take, we answer our prayer concerning our brothers and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, everlasting Father, we take up the power of us, uh, ascend and Lord Jesus Christ as co as uh, co rulers with Him. We assert our authority over the powers of the hair. We thank you, Almighty God, that today we, you are going to answer our prayer concerning our sisters and brother in the mighty name of Jesus. We command evil forces to release your hold over our friend, over our brothers, over our sister who are healing at this time in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we rely on you. We trust you and we believe in you. We know you are the only one that can help us. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, please as well as exercise authority and command to you. Lord Almighty, we pray that heal our brothers and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal them of whatever disease that is affecting them some around in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, if eternal rock of ages, ancient of the Holy Spirit, enlighten the eyes of our understanding to fully Comprehend that our Father has made us sharers of his authority. Because of this authority that God has given unto us, we have this authority everlasting Father now over snakes, scorpions, over our brothers and sisters, over whatever infection that may be in the body, the body, soul, and spirit. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we command all infection to leave our friend for all affected organs of the body. Lord, to be restored now in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the almighty God that has all the spare parts. Mm -hmm. Bible says you created us in your own image. There's nothing in our body that is not known unto you. Lord Almighty, we are lifting our voice before the throne of grace concerning our brothers and sisters. Father, we are asking for total restoration. Lord Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, please restore our brothers and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus. Every organ, every part of the body that need your touch, right now we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. As a group, because your word says we are two, three are gathered in your name, you are there. We believe you are in our midst. We believe that you are the only one that can heal us. This is our faith that we are exercising. Father, heal our brothers and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, eternal rock of ages, their Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. All power, both heavenly and spiritual, is under your feet. In the authority of your only name, Jesus Christ, we come against this evil energy that is afflicting the body and mind of our brothers, please, and sisters, please mention their name. If you know that, mention the individual that you know. Have your faith. You are interceding on behalf of some of our brothers and sisters, or on behalf of our children that need healing, that need touch at this time. And we bind and I command it to go in the mighty name of Jesus. Even though we are seeing an apparent setback, because this is what we can see, because that's the pronouns of the doctor. But we declare that this is not that, that by your power there's a defeat. You are going to defeat this sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Almighty, it's a pending victory. We know it is just waiting for you to answer. Father, and we stand firmly on your word and trust you, Lord Almighty, that this will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we pray that you continue to strengthen us, strengthen our prayer, brothers and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Almighty Father, as our brothers and sisters 
spend time with you. Oh, Lord Almighty, and uh, in the hospital right now, Lord, we pray. And for last that you continue to strengthen them. You continue to touch even the physicians that are attending to them. Lord Almighty, we, the, the, you, you are the one that gave the knowledge to the physician. Father, direct them to be able to treat our brothers and sisters right in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray concerning even the medication that they are going to be given unto them. Lord Almighty, in turn of confession, we declare that, Lord, those medications will be as you directed in the mighty name of Jesus. There's nothing that was made without you. Even the medication is made by you. The knowledge of the doctor is as you have commanded. Father, we pray that you touch you not that will be attending to our brothers and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, remember that you are the God that still perform miracles. Lord, we rely on you just as you did in the biblical times. Help our brothers and sisters, Lord Almighty, not to give up their faith in you. Lord Almighty, we pray for your miracle, for your miracle upon our brothers and sisters. Lord Almighty, we have confidence of victory over this sickness. We declare as a group, as individual, concerning our brothers and sisters, Lord, we pray that your miracles work in power. Lord Almighty, we manifest today upon our brother and sister in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you created everything. Lord, as they are breathing the air into their system, wherever they are right now, Lord, we command in the mighty name of Jesus. You are Jehovah Rapha, our great healer. Lord, we pray that you will strengthen the faith of our brothers and sisters. Again, we need you to strengthen their faith. Lord Almighty, because your one made us realize that uh, if we have faith, we speak to the mountain moon, the mountain will move. Lord Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, all we need is the faith. Lord Almighty, we are coming to you, Lord, as a group, and we are believing in your healing power. May you, may, may our brothers and sisters realize that what they are hoping for is not just a wish, but it is in reality through your promises and your power in the mighty name of Jesus. May they put their confidence in you, Lord, who formed the entire universe, who created us, who Bible say wounded us in our mother's stomach and knew all the spare parts in our body. May their faith reach that next level, Lord Almighty. It is until you strengthen their faith that they'll be able to have this healing. Lord Almighty, they may be weak, but Lord, touch their strength, touch their faith. So they'll be able to rely totally on you. Total reliance on you is what we need at this time. Lord Almighty, as we are praying as a group, whoever they are, wherever they are, our brothers and sisters, that we know. Lord Almighty, you can mention their name, we pray. Lord, they, they may be weak. Lord, we are praying that you free all of them, free them of all diseases in the mighty name of Jesus. Free them of all disability in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we want to worship you. We want to give honor to your name. Loving Father, we intercede again. Everlasting Father for our friend. Who is enduring great pain at this time around? Everlasting Father, please. Lord, we are praying. Help our dear brothers and sisters be strong in you. Lord Almighty, in the power of your might, help them remember that all things are possible for the one who believes in you. Father, strengthen their faith again. Strengthen their faith. And now, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, that have all name, that is the name that's above all other names, Lord, we ask you to take this pain away in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal all disorders, all diseases, all injuries, continue to this pain in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying that you relieve our brothers from all pains, our sisters from all pains in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because you are the almighty God. Heavenly Father, we come to you today on behalf of our Father who are now suffering from this chronic disorder. Lord, we pray, Lord Almighty, that may your loving kindness rest on them. Oh Lord, and may you touch them with deliverance according to your word in the mighty name of Jesus. We know that you have the power and dominion over all sickness and diseases. Lord, we pray for your rescue. We pray we are trusting you, Lord Almighty, and we are confident, we are confident sure in your word in the mighty name of Jesus for the healing for this painful and uh, uh, disabling condition in the mighty name of Jesus. May their hope be realized and they be liberated unto you as they rely on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Father, we pray at this time that, Lord, you accept our plea concerning our brothers and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus, and your name alone shall be glorified. Lord, we thank you because for answer prayer, because we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. We're going to post the uh, the Bible study one year plan on the platform for those who would love to have it. You can have it there. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.